Hello guys and welcome to War Thunder. This time I'm taking off the highly requested Venom. This plane sits at a battle rating of 7.7, .7, the exact same that the previous plane, the Vampire does. The Venom, however, is a much, much better plane than the Vampire. It is much faster, it climbs a lot better, and it accelerates a lot better. It also has Actually, it has the same amount of ammo, um, but it can carry a bigger payload of bombs and rockets. Um, it doesn't turn quite as well as the Vampire does, but it is still one of the best turning jet fighters in the game. Um, you do, however, need to be careful when turning in this plane. If you are going above 700 km per hour, the chance of ripping is huge, um, so be really careful. Uh, first, before we get into this battle, uh, I will explain what I meant by accidentally kill stealing in my previous video. I'm diving down here on two enemy jet planes, uh, following a friendly teammate. Uh, I try to take out both of them. I uh, took out the first one, uh, starting on, on the tail of the second one, take him out. Um, but you may have noticed that the first plane actually lost his wing, just as I was about to fire. Um, he was partially covered by my plane, um, and he lost his wing just as I started to fire, so I don't know if that counted as kill stealing or not. It wasn't intentional, uh, but he had definitely uh, lost his wing before I hit him. Um, my teammate, who took his wing off, uh, called me out in chat and called me a uh, kill stealing uh, noob and so on. Um, but I would really like to know your opinion on that. Uh, was that kill stealing or? Was it just um, a kill as any kill? Okay, so back to this game. Um, I am squatted up with Carl underscore Swe, uh, another Swedish pilot. You may have noticed that we speak Swedish to each other in chat. Um, we haven't really said anything important in chat so far and I don't think we will during the entire game uh, anything important will be uh, the call-ups that you make with the um, T or K keys and then followed by two numbers but those are call-outs uh, that you will hear so there's no need to uh, explain what's happening in chat uh, I've just spotted the first enemy, uh, at least the first one close enough to me uh, to be popping up. Um, it is an LA-15 and I actually don't really know how to fight these. I have heard that they turn pretty decently, but I don't know how they compare uh, to the Venom. Um, I know that he has at least three 23mm cannons in his nose and I don't want them pointing at my plane uh, trying to slot in on his tail but it is quite difficult as I don't want to uh, uh, stress my plane too much um, trying to turn fight him uh, but he is slower so he will turn better so I uh, extend my air brakes uh, retracting the air brakes to not lose too much speed. Uh, Carl is trying to take him out, but I think he missed all his shots, so I take the LA-15's wing off. Okay, so that is one enemy about to go down. Um, and that was actually the first w uh, player to die uh, to another player in this game. Uh, but you will see that six players have died already 
due to crashing and I will get a bunch of kills in this game uh, and not to brag but it wasn't because of my amazing killing skills it was rather because of the pretty bad teams um, so if you are a decent player and you end up with two horrible teams you will actually find it more enjoyable and get more kills than if you have a good team uh, especially a good team fighting another good team Uh, there will be a lot of kill stealing attempts in this game. I I know I opened fire on that AI, um, but I didn't really try to take him out. I was well. If I had hit him, it might have counted as a kill steal. So well, I guess that's bad on my part. Um, So, six enemy planes are down, uh, including one AI, and I don't have a visual on any more of them. Uh, so I go over to their base to check out if there is anyone on the runway. Um, I don't realize at the time that there aren't any squads, but in most jet games there are IL-28 sitting on the runway. Um, waiting for an enemy player to um, strafe them and then just as the enemy player uh, starts to fire uh, the IL-28 pilot jumps out of this plane and then when uh, the strafer aborts his uh, ground strafing run uh, the IL-28 spawns again and try to take out the pilot with his uh, rear gunners uh, I didn't realize at the time that uh, there couldn't be any IL-28s because of the um, ME-163 that I saw earlier uh, at least I saw him die in the uh, uh, in the battle messages I haven't seen him uh, myself uh, but there couldn't be any IL-28s without squads and there are no squads so I ask the um, enemy teams if there are any, but they call me stupid because of uh, my, well, actually pretty stupid question. Um, still looking for enemy planes, and no sign of them. Uh, some teammates are trying to strafe ground targets, but with moderate success. Uh, one AAA taking out one armored car. Um, my squad mate Carl uh, tells me that he is at 4000 meters and I ask him if there are any enemies around uh, but I don't remember getting any answer to that um, actually says nothing up high um, another uh, teammate uh, tells me that there are two enemy planes following him uh, but he doesn't state his um, location or altitude. It turns out that he is just right above me and he has a SEAL-13 and a uh, ME-262 behind him. Um, and I am just coming up on a MiG-15 here. So now at the end of the battle we are starting to encounter the most dangerous enemy planes. Um, one of our sabers got taken out by a triple A and oh my god that was close to a collision uh, Carl if you're watching this please next time if you're going to fly that close at least hit me give me a wing slap or something okay so here you will see one of the uh, problems with the Venom it r its rudders are complete rubbish um, it does turn well if you use your elevators but its rudders do nothing, absolutely nothing. Uh, so, if you want to make minor changes to your course, uh, use your ailerons and then uh, point your mouse uh, in the direction you want to go. If you just use your rudders, uh, 
by using your uh, mouse, then nothing will happen. It will, it, you will just lose a lot of speed, and not much will happen. Um, put a few shots into that 262. Um, you'll see here that I put a few more shots into him, and you will actually hear that some of them hit without um, me getting any reward for it. Uh, if you hear that sound of a smacking, um, you will know that your shots hit. Um, but if it doesn't say hit, then um, well, they didn't do any damage. Trying to be a bit careful when firing at this 262, as he had a friendly uh, right behind him, and. I'm seeing a lot of fire coming over my shoulders. Um, trying desperately to uh, keep up with his rolling, take off his wing and actually get an assist. So one of my teammates actually took his pilot out uh, just after I took out uh, took off his wing, and that is another accidental kill steal. Uh, None of us uh, deserved the kill more, so um, I'm happy to not be the only one with a player kill on my team, at least. Um, and I did get an assist, so I shouldn't complain too much, but it would be nice to have working, uh, killing, um, uh, what's it called, um, assignment, where the uh, kill gets assigned to the right player. This is, I believe, the last enemy alive. Uh, set him on fire and try to put my last shots into him to get him to die. I take out his elevator um, and that is pretty much the game. Uh, this is the Venom. Uh, it is a lot better as a fighter than the Vampire is. Um, this fits very well at 7.7 .7 or maybe even 8.0. I think that the vampire should be lowered uh, to 7.3 at least. Having some issues here, uh, trying to type in chat because of some bug that only exists in War Thunder. Uh, before we go to results, however, I want to show you a really special maneuver that I saw a while back. Following this MiG-9 here, uh, putting some shots into him and he absolutely crash stops he pulls his plane vertical and I have no idea how to re react and you can see that uh, from my mouse going all over the place um, I have never seen any maneuver th like that before in War Thunder and uh, watching this uh, I have watched that video over and over again and I'm very surprised that he didn't rip his wings uh, from that maneuver. Um, please tell me, have you done anything like that before? Have you seen anything like that before? Do you know how to do that maneuver? I would like to know. Um, I assume that is a, um, a joystick player, but is it possible to do that with a mouse? I don't know. Um, Showing my modifications here. I'm not fully upgraded, but I'm not completely stuck either. Enemies left, so I go for the MiG-15 instead, and he goes vertical, uh, just giving me a free kill. Uh, pretty much out of ammo. I have two shots left, uh, but I 